How are you, my friends? This video is presenting eight old exams questions related to logarithmic functions and properties. This is covering lectures four and five. So the first question, we have the value of capital M log base four of two, capital N is equal to log base 25, fourth root of five. We have to find the value of this expression. So let's simplify each one. Remember the LE rule where we convert logarithmic equation into exponential or from exponential, we can go to logarithmic equations. So here we have capital M is equal to log base four of two. Just use the LE rule. So this is two equals four to the power M. Four, we can write it as two squared. So we have the same base here. So the power should be equal one equals two M, M will be half. Okay, leave it now. Capital N, we have log base 25, 4 through to 5. So 4 through to 5 is equal to 25 to the power N. This is 5 to the power 1 over 4. This is 5 squared. So we have the same base. So 1 over 4 is equal to N. So N will be 1 over 8. Here we need M to the power minus one, so the reciprocal of that, which is two. N to the power minus one, the reciprocal of N, which is eight, so that's that's 10. And here we have 10, uh, log base 10. See the base 10, because we don't write it here, 100,000, so 10 to the power five, which is five. So 10 over five, the answer is two. Question number two, given logarithmic graph, the function minus log base a of x plus b. Find the value of a plus b, and this is a multiple choice, a, b, c, d, e. Now we start with the vertical asymptotes, x equals minus three here. In the solution we can see x is equal minus three, the vertical asymptote, so x plus three is equal to zero, that will be the argument. So B will be only three. Let's take the, take the point minus one, minus one on the graph and it lies on the graph. So we replace the uh, coordinates of the point in the equation. So minus one is the Y minus log base A of minus one plus three, that's two. Use the LE rule, A to the power one is equal to two. So A will be two and B Three. When you add them, you get five. So the answer is B. Question number three, let's find the domain of this function. To find the domain, if you go back to the lecture, you have to see the argument. The argument must be greater than zero only. So X over X squared minus nine greater than zero. Let's factor the denominator and do a big, nice table of signs. Table of signs, just to remind you, you can see it in the algebra course, lecture 25. So I just take all the uh, factors here, x, x minus three, x plus three, take a test point from each interval and then make the whole table. Choose the positive, which is minus three to zero, all open, union, three to infinity. That will be the domain of this function. Find the inverse, also we have seen similar example capital T of X, this is a, this is exponential and we have to find the inverse. So you know there are four steps to find the inverse. Put the function as Y is equal to two to the power minus X plus one minus three. Interchange X and Y. So this becomes X and this becomes Y there. Use the LE rule, change this equation. This is exponential here, change it to logarithms. See the base here is two. So we have minus y plus one is equal log base two of x plus three. Now solve for y, take y on the other side. So this becomes one minus log base two of x plus three. That is the function inverse of this capital T. So this is T inverse. Question number five, we have a simple equation here for A, simple equation for B. Let's find each one separate and then add a plus b. So you can do this one separate. Also, you have to use the LE rule. See, this is log base 49, cube root of seven is equal to eight. Go down here, 
See, go down here with LE rule. So this becomes seven to the power one over three is equal the base here, 49 to the power A. 49 is seven squared. So I can say the base is the same. Bases here are the same. So one over three is equal to A. A will be one over six. Now the second equation here, log base B of eight over 27 is equal to three, also use LE rule. So eight over 27 is equal B cubed. Eight over 27 is two over three all cubed. You take the cube root of both sides. So B will be two over three. So when you add, 1 over 6, 2 over 3. You multiply here by 2 up and down. So this becomes 5 over 6. Question number 6, we need to find the value of this expression. All right, let me show you the method. Let's call the whole expression capital W. All right, you can call it anything you like, X or Y. Now, let's start with the innermost bracket here inside inside log base square root of 3 of 81. So I will call this bracket here inside, I will call it x, and then use LE rule here, you see? So now x, in the LE rule, now x is this y, log base a is square root of 3, and the x here is 8 to 1. So I can use the LE rule, so 8 to 1 is equal to square root of 3, the base to the power x. I make the same base three on both sides. This is three power four. This is three power half times the X. So four is equal X over two, X will be eight. Now, now the whole number here inside is eight. So I can write eight. Now look at this log base two of eight. I repeat the same process. I can call this Y or I can make it two cubed. You see the eight here, I can make it two cubed. Use the properties. So I can use LE rule also, y will be 3. All this, the inside is y3. I will repeat the third time with LE rule. W is equal log base fourth root of 3 of 3. The argument here is 3. So 3 is equal fourth root of 3 to the power W. I make the same base. See, this is 3 to the power 1 over 4. So one is equal W over four, W will be four. So now the whole value is four of all this expression. We need to graph this function f of x two minus log of one minus x. Then we say where the graph is above the x. So let's graph it here. We have to work hard here. Log, this is base 10. There is a reflection here in the minus. Also there's another reflection. So you have to rearrange the equation first. Now, if you need the answer only, so you need the graph, this is one part you need above the X. That's only the answer. This is the final, final graph. And this is where the graph is above. See here we need above the X. Above the X, so you have to find something we call it, you know that, X intercept until one above the X open. Now I will show you in details in the next slides. So you have to rearrange the equation. 2 minus log 1 minus x, I will make it, take a minus common factor, make it x minus 1. Because this one here, the first one, 1 minus x, not clear shifting right or left. But if you rearrange it, you take a minus outside, that's a reflection. See this minus here, inside here, this is a reflection in the y-axis. That's a minus with the X and then X minus one shifting on the right one unit because minus with this bracket becomes one minus X. So we start here by steps, one, two, three, four, five steps to get the final graph. Just easy to see. Base 10, this is logarithmic base 10. It passes through one increasing function. Then we take the minus outside here, reflection first. The minus in the in reflection in the x. So it becomes a decreasing. So you just reflect in the x-axis because we have the minus outside. Now we take the minus inside and we reflect in the y-axis. So this one becomes reflected there. Now we take the last one, number three here, and we shift it one unit 
on the right. See, this is one unit on the right. See, these, these all three equations are the same. This one, this one, this one. The best one is the first. So this is the shifted on the right. Then we shift up the whole graph to units up here at two. So there's a vertical asymptote, x equals one. Now we need to see where the graph is above the x. See here, not clear from this graph. So what do we do? We just make a zooming here. Or easily find x intercept. Let y equal zero. Let's do it together. Zero here is there, two minus log of one minus x. So the, we, don't, we don't see any base there. That means the base is 10. Now rearrange the equation, use LE rule. So one minus X is equal 10 here to the power two, which is 100. So X will be minus 99. See the graph will go there, 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 there. It will cut the X axis at minus 99, believe it or not. So where is the graph above the X? You see here from the graph, so clear above the X from minus 99 until one open on both. That's the graph above the X. Now this question with the gift comes with the gift. Let's do the question now. We need to graph F of X is equal absolute value of LN of X. I've mentioned before, if you need to graph a function with absolute value on the whole function, take the function inside and graph it. Then you take the part below the X, make it above the X positive part, make it positive. So we start with ln of x, that's base e here, it's an increasing, passing through one. This is the same graph, you see? So what did I change here? This is the same graph, these two. See the part above the x, above the x, the, I, I left it as black. Below, below the x, I made it blue, below the x. That means the y here is negative. So when I put absolute value, See, this is the absolute value here, this function. So when I put the absolute value, this is the function f here. I take the negative, see, move all negative part below the x, the blue, make it above the x. See, from here, make it above the x. Now this is the final graph here. So let's find the domain from zero to infinity open. Let's find the range closed. See, all the y's are positive closed from zero to infinity, where the graph is increasing from here, increasing from one to infinity. If we say where the graph is decreasing from zero to one. Now that's, this is question number eight, see? It comes with the gift. What is the gift? This is the gift. So this is the absolute value of ln of x. Suppose I said, do the same question, ln of absolute value of x more difficult. You see, this is the graph. The graph is completely different because here you take one time X positive, you draw this graph. You take one time X negative, you do this graph. So both pieces here is the function F. Now, these are the answers of the uh, eight questions. If you want to see uh, some more examples related to these questions, you can see the uh, videos, please, on pre-calculus course, lecture number four, logarithmic functions, and lecture number five, properties of logarithms. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, you can subscribe and share it with your friends. And I hope I can see you in another video with another topic. Thank you very much. See you later.